Hello everyone and welcome to a Let's Play of Grace's Diary. <clears throat> I didn't know how to do like finish off with Hetta Oni just yet because it takes a lot of editing just for one video. So yeah, so let's start. I wanted to do something like this. Skip prologue. Ooh. I have made my decision. Really, I have. I'm going to talk to Natalie today. She hasn't talked to me for almost a month. And I'm pretty sure it's because Ken told her not to. Seriously, things have been kind of strange lately. It doesn't seem like a healthy relationship to me. I know Natalie really, really like Ken. I know Natalie really, really likes Ken, but he can't st just stand by and watch anymore. I think it's about time I tell her what I think. I can't just give her a call right away, though. If I don't have anything solid, she wouldn't listen to me for sure. That's like that. Maybe I should think carefully about what I should talk to her about. Hopefully, she'll listen to me. Use your cursor to search around the room. Search for items that will bring back Gate Gracie's memories. These. Oh, excuse me, I've been drinking this tea. These memories will help Gracie talk during the talk of Natalie. Please note that some memories require that items be examined more than once. Once you think you're ready to talk to Natalie, use the cell phone to do so. You can check the memories you found by using the memo. And last but not least, you can press control to speed up that dialogue. But well, we're not going to speed it up. I never did this before. Alright. Ooh, photograph. It's a picture of Natalie and me. I think this was taken before Natalie and Ken started going out. She seems like she's changed a lot since then. Um, can I check again? Mm, yep, same. Alright. Oh, shoes? Natalie got me those shoes for my last birthday. I told her not to get me anything though, but she won't listen. They are not my favorite. Apparently. Ugh, my bed is so messy. I don't even want to look at it. Oh well, I'll clean it later. Maybe. Wait, would there be like a memo? Uh, um, I never did this before, so... I think I printed out some important information a while ago. Darn it, I forgot where I put it already. Well, it's around here somewhere. That's all I can remember. watch TV. Besides, there is nothing interesting to watch right now. Anyway. Um, oh, what is this? Let's see if I can find anything useful in this mess. Hmm, no, not this. Oh, why is this thing here? Oh my, you really need to throw this trash away. Uh, nothing useful, I guess. Um, hmm. Oh, isn't this... That reminds me, we had a party over at Hamilton's last night. Natalie and I went to that party, and so did Ken. At the party. Woohoo! That was one great party, wasn't it? Jake Hamilton sure knows how to throw a party, don't you agree? Um, Earth, Natalie, are you listening to me, like, at all? Sorry, Grace. You were saying? Ah, let me guess, you're looking for Ken, aren't you? I thought we were leaving. You want to say goodbye to him or something? Oh wait, you want him to take you home? Well, no, I mean, yes, kinda. Alright, I think I saw him inside with his friends. I'm gonna go get him for me. I could grab a drink or something. Okay, thanks Grace. I think I saw him somewhere around here. There he is. Seriously, guys, I can't believe how stupid she is. I mean, you pretty much have to be brainless to do something like that. Well, it seems like he's talking to someone behind their back. I have a bad feeling about this. Dude, if your girl knew about this, you'd be in real trouble, man. Oh, give me a break. Natalie, she doesn't care. She 
She's all over me, man, and she knows I'm just kidding. We do this all the time. Wait, can you make fun of Natalie in front of his friends? What's with all this all the time? I doubt Natalie taking us at that as a joke. Ken, Natalie's waiting for you at the front. See? What did I tell you? All right, Grace, I'm coming with you. Two minutes later. Ken, I think we need to talk. Oh, uh, about what? About what you just did to Natalie. I know I'm not Natalie, but I'm pretty sure she does not appreciate that. How could you do that, calling her stupid and brainless in front of everyone? Oh, come on, have a sense of humor. It was just a joke, you know? Nothing serious. I have a hard time believing that Natalie finds that very funny. Ooh, just stay out of this, all right? What? Oh, there you are. What took you so long? Well, Ken, I think Natalie and I should leave. It's 11 p.m. already. Well, I think we're going to stay here for a while, right, Natalie? Huh? What are you talking about? We have school tomorrow. There'll also be a quiz. It's an easy one, but we can't miss it. Who cares? Are you like 11 or something? Natalie isn't a baby anymore, so she's going to stay. Natalie, please. I'm sorry, Grace. You can leave. I'll be fine. Natalie. Don't worry. I'll give you a call when I get home. <clears throat> she didn't give me a call, but left me a message. According to her message, it was sent at 2 a.m. That explains why she looks so tired during the quiz that next day. Really? Humiliating and controlling? That is just mean. I think this is one of the things I should mention when I talk to Natalie about Ken. Better write a note before I forget. Yeah. Uh, never get into a relationship like that if, oh gosh, the controlling is just horrid. That's a chemist te chemistry textbook. Ugh, chemistry, no! I can study that later. Uh, no. Nothing useful. I wish Natalie and I can go play tennis with her again sometime. It's kind of funny to see Natalie wearing a sweatband. She really hates it, but she has to wear it during the match. Or else she'll sweat too much and might end up sending a racket flying. Natalie. Oh, here we go. Hmm. I think I kept most of the stuff I printed out on the shelf. Let's see. Ah, there it is. JenniferAnn.org I was searching on the internet to find more about Ken's behavior. Basically, I'm trying to find if what's happening to Natalie is normal. Eventually, it led me to this website. Seriously, what's... Most of the warning signs seems to screw Ken to Still, I'm not an expert or anything. Maybe I should suggest that Natalie get the help on call. Better than making no rest and forget again. That'll be good. Oh, what's this? Oh, that's a racket. Um, is there anything else? I can't believe I forgot about this very important info. Even if Natalie doesn't listen to me at all, she might. She, at least she might. Call them and ask for advice. Right. Save your progress. I'm going to save just in case. Um, there's nothing else we can go to, right? Alright. There's nothing we can check in here. Let's see, is this going to be anything? No, that's not safe. Oh, what's this? Oh, should I give Natalie a call? Not yet. I feel like. Wait a minute. That cell phone reminds me. How could I forget about that? About what happened to Natalie's phone? <gasps> oh, I'm smart. <laughs> At school. So I guess when they're high schoolers? I apologize. I'm drinking iced tea. It's really good. I really can't wait to check out the new ice cream shop this evening. I already texted Natalie about it. I really hope she can come. Palmera, Claire, Joanna, Natalie, and me. This should be a lot of fun. She'd probably be at her locker right now. I should meet her there. There, turn left on the next corner and... 
Oh, jeez. What was that sound? I better find out what happened. Natalie, what was that sound? Grace? Oh, no. Hmm? Oh, my, no. What is this? That shape, the color, I recognize it now. It's, it's Natalie's cell phone. Natalie, what happened to your phone? Um, I, um... She dropped it. She, what? I told you, she dropped it. Accidentally, of course. She was hurrying to read a text message, stupid clumsy girl. Ken, what? It's true, ask for yourself then, if you don't believe me. Natalie, what really happened? I, um... I dropped it, Grace. I was in a hurry and accidentally dropped the phone. It's okay, really. Just leave it there, honey. Someone will clean it up. And I'll buy a new phone for you, okay? I, I guess so. Sorry, Ken. Don't be. Anyway, I don't want to be late for my next class. Bye, you too. Natalie, was that true? Did you really drop it? It looks more like it was thrown rather than dropped to me. I was about to say that, yeah. Yes, I told you. I dropped it. That's all. By the way, is that a message from you? She's trying to change the topic. Oh, well. Yeah, I was going to ask you to join us at the new ice cream shop this evening. Pamela, Pamela, Joanna, and Claire will be there, too. What do you say? Well, I'd love to, actually. But I really can't. Sorry. Oh, come on, Natalie. Do you already have plans or something? Is it with Ken? No, really, but he wants to be available in case he wants to go somewhere with me. No. That's bad. That's horrid. No. So, later, okay? Maybe tomorrow or something. Natalie. Look, I gotta run now. I'll talk to you later, okay? Hi. That's controlling me on believe. I really doubt that it was an accident. I mean, the phone was smashed pretty good. More than gravity was involved. Not to mention it was Ken who came up with this story about it dropping. I better write this down. What an arse. Oh! Oh, here we go. Hmm, come to think of it, I think something else had changed too. Hi, right, her clothes! Natalie's not wearing an out- is not an outrageous side, but she isn't too conservative in that either. In my memory serves, I think we had to talk about this once. <clears throat> yes, we had. It was before the party. Oh yeah, I just noticed that her clothes are extremely different than hers. Another picture. At school. What's up, Natalie? How was your weekend? Oh wow, what's with the new style change, girl? Don't you think you're covered up too much? Are you cold or something? Oh, I have that kind of boyfriend who would just like control everything that you would wear. Well, yes. Um, I mean, no. Which is it? Um, I, um... Natalie, does this have something to do with Ken? Well, he didn't like it when I was showed too much skin, you know? She wasn't even showing that much skin, though. Oh, gosh. I'm afraid that guys are going to look at me and stuff like that. So he told me to put more clothes on. That's all. Guys are not going to look at you if, like, it's not your fault. It's just them over-sexualizing a body part. Ugh. He's just being sweet, really. I'm not sure about that. Anyway, I should go see him at his locker now, or else he'll get mad again. Again? You mean he got mad at you before? It's nothing, really. I was late on Saturday and he was afraid of something that happened to me. It was my fault, really, making him worried like that, but it's all good now. Natalie, don't think like that. Look, I gotta run now. I'll talk to you later, okay? Why is that bad? Wait, isn't that... Natalie, wait! Why? On her wrist. That was her wristband. She never wore it except for playing tennis. What could be the reason she was wearing it? I can't help but think that she's hiding something. And it has something to do with her ke with Ken. I better write this down. Um, should we check the tennis rack again? Should I give Natalie a call? Not yet, I, I'm not done yet. I sit over here. I wish Natalie and I could go play tennis games tonight. It was kind of fun to see this sweatband, blah blah blah. Natalie. 
Um, I don't think I'm ready though. What? Whoa, why is this? Oh, cool. So by accident. Oh, why is this thing here? Oh my. I really need to throw this trash away. Uh, nothing useful here, I guess. Uh, never mind. That's a chemistry textbook. I can study that later. Um, it's hard deciphering which is useful and which is. Oh, this is open up there? I don't have time to watch you see it, maybe, because that is something interesting right now, anyway. Oh, it was open. This has the mass. Um, computer? I can't believe you got that info. This bed is so messy, I'll well, clean it later, maybe. Now I'm gonna do this with the bubble water, my favorite now, apparently. I don't know if there's anything else important. Oh. You know what? We'll. We'll try. And if anything, we could just leave and try again. Oh, wait, 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 wait. wait. Just want to something. Up here. There was, I guess that was just a cell phone. Alright. Give her a call. Alright, I hope she'll pick up the phone. Hello? Hey, Nat, what's up? Grace! Hi! How have you been? We haven't talked for like ever, forever. Yeah, you're right. Sorry. I've been, you know, busy and stuff. Natalie, please, is something wrong? I mean, we used to hang out together almost all the time. But now I can't help but think that you're avoiding me. Please, if I've done something wrong, I'm sorry, alright? No, don't be. It's, it's nothing like that. And what is it? It isn't just me, you know. Even Claire and Pamela Pal think you're mad at them or something. So if this isn't about us, then tell us what is happening. Look, I think I should go. I'm not supposed to be talking to you. If he finds out about this, uh, I... He? Um, nothing. Nothing really. What should I do? It seems like it's about... It seems about Ken Um... Uh, let's talk about the party instead of talking about how stupid. Listen, I, I don't know for sure what's going to happen here, but he would... Would you please listen to me? I'm really worried about you. And I just want to explain why I feel that way. Please, Nat. We're friends, right? Okay. I think. Thank you, Natalie. Thank you so much. Okay. I think the reason you've been avoiding me and the others is because... I think it's because Ken told you to do it. I don't know for sure about the others, but I know the reason why Ken would do that to me. You remember the party we went together last month? The one over at Jake's? Yeah. What about it? When I went to tell him, you were waiting for him. I overheard him talking to his friends. It seems like... Ken likes to talk bad about you behind your back. I don't know if he knew this about, about this or not. And it isn't like and it isn't like he's joking or anything. To me, he's humiliating you. I confronted him, of course. I didn't couldn't stand him doing that to you. He brushed it off like it was nothing. Like it was a normal thing to do. That's why I think he didn't want you to see me, because I'm against him. Did you know about this Natalie? I'm sure he was just joking around, Grace. I don't mind, really. It helps me get along better with his friends. Really, Nat? Because I cannot think of anyone who wouldn't be hurt from the stuff he said. You don't have to put yourself down to please someone at me. If he cares for you, he's supposed to respect you. Yes, I know. I know that it's, it's hurtful. Sometimes his friends just look at me with their eyes. It's like they're mocking me. But Grace, I'm sure he'll change. We all have a bad habit or two, right? It, it's totally normal. It seems like she's still too young yet. What should I do? I think it, Well, if that was his only bad behavior, I wouldn't be worried as much. You remember when I asked you about your new style at school? You said that he didn't like your wearing provocative clothes. But I think there's more to it than that. But I told you already. He told me to change because he loves me. Ken wouldn't physically hurt 
hurt me. I know you, Natalie, and you never wear, never wear, wear very sexy clothes. Only nuns would dress less sexy than you, seriously. I think he wants to control you, you know? If you dress like Paris Hilton, then I have no problem with him doing that at all. Okay, he might be worried about me too much, but that doesn't mean he's very harmful. I'm sure Ken and I can talk things out. It isn't a big deal. That might be true, but I still think he's harmful. In fact, I think he might have hurt you already, and you're all hiding it. I saw Natalie on that day. Look, I gotta run now. I'll talk to you later, okay? You were wearing a wristband. I think you understand what I'm getting at. You never wear a wristband. You hate them, except when you're playing tennis. Hence the only reason you wore it on that day is because you wanted to hide something. I... I... Nat, I'm really worried about what he will do or has already done to you. He hurts you, right? And there was a mark on your wrist which you're trying to hide. I... I... It was an accident. He didn't mean it. Please tell me what happened, Natalie. Like I told you before, it was late. I was late for a date with him. When I arrived, he walked up to me with a scary face. He grabbed my wrist really hard and asked me where I had been. I told him I was sorry. Sorry that I was late. Natalie. But he finally let go of my wrist, you know? Said he was sorry. He was worried so much about me, afraid that something might have happened to me. It, it was a one-time thing, really. I'm sure it will never happen again. Okay, I need to show her that it can't be a sign of using violent before. What should I do? Well, while it was true that he had some physical hurt you again, I think there is a possibility that it might do it again. But, but you have no proof. What makes you think that? Nah, I think you know it too. Remember what happened to your phone? Remember you told me it was dropped? But it was Ken who said that first. I still remember how the phone looked. It was smashed up pretty good. More than it just dropping, it will do, in fact. I've dropped a phone before too, Matt. But it never looked that bad. Natalie, it was Ken, wasn't it? It was Ken who threw the phone on the floor. Um, uh... You're right. It was him. He threw my phone. Because I got a text while I was talking to him. He told me I should not take any calls or messages without his permission. What? No. Natalie has no right. What can I do? I didn't know he was going to do that. You're right. I'm sorry for interrupting you like that. Please continue. When you showed up and lied, he lied to you, I knew right away. I knew that I should go along with him or he'll be mad again. Natalie, I'm such a fool, right? How could I do this to myself? How could I be so stupid? Natalie, don't be so hard on yourself. This couldn't happen to anyone. How would you know how the relationship would turn out like this? He was really nice, you know? He used to take care of me and everything. So when all those things happened, I thought it was nothing. I mean, it lo it's love, right? Sometimes you argue. But in the end, as long as you love each other, it'll have a happy ending. Uh, I'm... I, 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 I can't do that. I'm sorry. Sorry, Grace. And thank you. Thank you for talking to me. After what I did to you, I thought you'd think I hate you. And you wouldn't think of me as a friend anymore. Apparently, I'm wrong. Thank you, Grace. Oh, you think that avoiding me in silent treatment's gonna stop me? I'll always be your friend, silly. So, what are you going to do now? Well, Ken's going to come and pick me up in two hours. Today we're going somewhere with his friends again. Do you s ah. Do you still want to go? I'm not sure. You know what? I'm going to come and pick you up. Well, let's go and hang out together. Instead, we haven't done that in a long time. You can tell him that you need some space between you two. Don't worry, I'll be there for you. Sounds like she still isn't sure about this. What should I do? I feel like letting her decide in a moment like this is just bad, so let's tell her about the website info. Wait, I think I have something that might be able to help her. Wait, Nat, I think you should talk to these people first. 
I was looking for info on the internet and found out about this. They have a number for the National Teen Dating Abuse Helpline listed here. Why don't you talk to them first before you make up your mind? I'm sure they can give you better advice than me. Don't worry, Natalie. Whatever you choose, I'll still be your friend. Okay, I'll give him a call then. What's the number? Okay, it's one 331 Okay, got it. Alright, I'll talk to you later then. Thank you, Grace. Thank you. Natalie's house. Natalie, I'm here. Grace! Thank you for coming. Thank you. No problem, my mom's here too. I brought an adult just like you told me. I still have to thank you though. Calling for the helpline number really helped me. Now I know what I should do. I know what I have to do. Natalie, I'm so glad. Oh. What is this? Why is she here, Natalie? Natalie's not going with you anymore. She's coming with me. Why, baby? What did I do wrong? Ken, I'm sorry, but I have to do this. I need to figure out something. I'm not sure about us anymore. Baby, you know how much I love you. Please, we can discuss this. You don't have to do this. Ken, please. I need to be alone. To be with my friends, and not with you or your friends. Please, Natalie, if i ever done something wrong to you, I'm sorry, okay? Think about the good times we've had together, baby. Do you want to throw it away? Like it meant nothing to you at all? Natalie? I'm sorry, Grace, but please don't take Natalie away from me. I'm not taking anyone from away from you. Natalie decided to do this herself. It's her choice, and you have to understand that. Natalie, you're not going back to him, are you? No, I'm not. I really think we have to take a break in this relationship, Ken. It isn't that I don't love you. I still do, and I really do. But I need some air. I want to take a break. We can fix this, Natalie. We don't have to take a freaking break. Don't go, Natalie. Please! Goodbye, Ken. Come back. Natalie, come back! I was really brave with you, Natalie. <laughs> I tried. Are you sure you're going to be okay? Honestly, I'm not sure myself. I thought it's going to be easy, you know, after what he's done to me. I thought I could just walk away feeling nothing, but that isn't the case, now no. The worst part is, I still love him, but I have to do what I have to do. Then, I... I want to hear the crying noise again. And then I said nothing more. All I did was hold her. It must be hard for her, but she has done it. It wasn't me who saved her, it was Natalie. I didn't know how much about love, but now I know, do know one thing. That love isn't about hurting each other. It isn't about forcing someone to do everything you want. It isn't about humiliating them, putting them down. To love is to respect. I'm sharing my story today because I hope this will be useful to other people. To those that see signs from your friends, but are too afraid to act. Or those who don't know what to do. Of course, I'm not an expert, but you can always direct your friends to me. Yes! I'm guessing I got the best end. Oh, this is nice music. Ice tea great. Alright. So that was a cute little game. Um, gave a lot of messages and whatnot. And I thought that was really good in the game. It was really short. I was actually expecting it to be longer and I really didn't read the description. But I think I was just like, I just looked on like, yeah. I just saw that it was a really good game and it looked nice. I didn't expect it to be about this. Or just short. But sometimes short games are great, you know? Holla! So yeah. This is really upbeat music. Uh, I wonder if there's any other endings. I'm gonna like look around and see if there's gonna be any other endings. Maybe like off screen. Yeah. So, oh, yeah. Alright. So that was good. Oh. So that was Grace's Diary. I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you want um, me to play any other games, I would take any other requests, okay? This is Bunny Menace.
and I'm signing off.